welcome to another video. Uh, today I got delivery from Exotic Pet, so I'm just going to do a review and go over what I've brought. So I've already unsealed the box. And there we go. So we have here, I'm pretty sure this is the Camwells frog which I don't know if I can get close up for you but as you can see it's in there I'll take them out in the, later on and try and give you a better look but so far it looks all good packaging's nice so that's the uh, Camwells, that's a horned frog, albino. It's, uh, I think they're from South Africa. I'm pretty sure they are. They grow to about three to five inches long as an adult. Uh, packaging wise, got some brown paper. And a heat pack. The box is quite cold though, but hopefully they're all okay. Right, and here we have an amber millipede. Don't know if you can see it there. That's my amber millipede. It's got some moss in there. But I will get them in the warm soon because they are quite cold. Here we have the Pretty sure it's a Cameroon red baboon. And there it is there. Oops, sorry. I'd say it's a juvenile, near enough adult there. These are known to be a quite an aggressive species. <laughs> quite an aggressive species. They grow to about nine inches long. Um they are aggressive due to their eyesight. They're meant to have really poor eyesight. Uh, next up we have um, a June gecko. These are from Africa and Israel. These only grow to about 3 to 4 inches. Well, 2 to 3 inches. Some are known to be 4. But there it is right there. I do not know the gender of any of these. So I will have to have a look and do some research. Um, that's this sort of gecko. They're not like the rest. They can't climb up smooth surfaces. Um, so they bury themselves in the sand, dig themselves in tunnels. That's why their name's uh, June geckos, obviously. <laughs> uh, what else do we have here? Oh, and this is my grey tree frog. See it just there. Well, like I said, they will get a better, better close up for you. Oh, there you go. That's my grey tree frog. Um, they grow to about one to two inches. They're from South Africa and where are they from? From America as well. Um, packaging wise, they've come in. polystyrene box, obviously it's meant to keep the heat in and stuff. Um, they have this heat pad. Just don't really feel that warm to be fair, but they have come, I think it's about an hour, two hours away. So, so they're not too, I haven't been in the cold too long, so as soon as I get them in the, the sooner they get them in the heat, the better really. So let's open up this one. On my knife. <laughs> oh, I don't know where that's going. There's quite a lot of frogs. They do um
we do have a lot of toxin in the mouth guns. So you don't really want to pick them up bare handed. Horned frog, or grandmother's horned frog, sorry. Well, it looks beautiful. Can't wait to get him into his new enclosure. Uh, I'm not going to try and get the trench rat out because, as I said, they're aggressive due to their poor eyesight. Um, don't really fancy holding the centipede as they do. Also give off a certain toxin that can cause itchiness to your hands and burning sensation. But well, I will open up the lid and try and get a closer look for you. Is. Beautiful. These are also known as a tiger, sh uh, tiger, due to their tiger stripes. <laughs> um, don't really fancy getting out the gecko because they are quite fast and. I want to give them a bit of time to settle in, but as you can see there, beautiful colouring. The eyes are just amazing. There you have that. Oh, the grey tree frogs trying to get out. <laughs> right, let's see. I don't really want to open the lid because it's trying to get out. But there you have the grey tree frog. Another beautiful species. I also ordered um, some peat moss. All round, um, all the reptiles look healthy. Obviously, I'll give them a few weeks to observe them, make sure they're all fine, um, I'll get them in the heat, uh, start feeding in for the, the trencher and stuff like that, start feeding in a week or so as they don't often eat after a delivery, uh, normally take about a week or two to settle in and get used to their surroundings, but other than that they, uh, they've done pretty good. The only issue, like I said, was the heat. They uh, feel pretty chilly, to be fair. Um, packaging was fine. The delivery guy was really nice and helpful. Um, the company's helpful herself. Uh, they rang me up, I think it was two or three days uh, before delivery, to make sure there's someone in, to go um, over my information, make sure everything's correct, delivery was correct. The delivery guy rang and left a voicemail to say that he was on his way and it would be about an hour or two. Uh, time for waiting was roughly about a week I'd say, which isn't too bad. Obviously they have to do it by delivery um, and when they can go to Korea and when the courier can drop it off. But all around a good company. Uh, I'd recommend them. Uh, head over to exoticpets.co.uk. I'll leave a link in the description. They have all sorts from your, your reptiles, your amphibians, your invertebrates, all your products, all your live food. I order my live mice and all around I'd say it's the, the best company I've had so far for price wise. Prices are really good. 
So yeah, uh, head over, head on over. If you like the video, uh, like and subscribe, and I've got plenty more to come. I've got all my other reptiles to introduce to you. I've got more reptiles coming next month. I'm thinking a lot more next month. Um, but a lot of information, a lot of fun facts, and just a lot of good stuff coming. So keep on, keep on watching. <laughs> Thanks for watching.